Hi everyone. So it's been a long, <clears throat> a long time working on this project. Uh, as you can see, I'm opening the the box because uh, I just moved. And uh, for those of you that follow me, you know that uh, uh, it's it's been a while in between this uh, build series. So uh, today we're going to get on it, and uh, today uh, we're going to be working on the ebony binding. So the first thing I'm doing here is uh, getting rid of the extra material that we have on the on the soundboard and uh, backboard, and then uh, I'll uh, fi finesse everything with uh, uh, sandpaper and uh, scrapers and stuff, and then I'll be able to route the channel to accept the 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 ebony binding. So uh, stick around, and uh, hopefully you enjoy the video. So little trick of the trade here, you can see the scratches here from the 120 and now I switch to the 150 and I start sanding on a, an angle from the previous line and the fact that I still see those lines uh, indicates that I still need to go deeper. Uh, the, the, the thing is if you keep sanding always in the same way you don't know if you sanded deep enough uh, to remove previous lines so in, in that case the lines are still showing so I'll be sanding on a 30 degree angle from the other lines until everything is removed and then I'll move on through the grits that way. So like I said I'm going through the grit so uh, I'm using uh, I started with 120 and I'm gonna finish at 400 using 150, 240, 320 in between. As you can see here, uh, I just broke the, the binding. I'll take a wider shot so you can see. So that's the piece that's broken. And then uh, I have the, I put my lines from the tape earlier. And then if I start here, the end of my piece, and I have my center, I st still looks like I've got like an extra quarter inch. And uh, if I use this piece on the top part of the, uh, on the soundboard instead of the backboard, I still need to trim the, the front end of it because uh, of the neck. So this one should technically be long enough even though I, I broke like over like four or five inches. So as you can see here, that's the one that was broken. If we go all the way to the other side, I'm barely making the, the center, but that's good. It's long enough. Thank you. 
So right now what I'm doing is I'm sealing the whole instrument with uh, shellac. This is a one pound cut and what that does is when I'm starting to work with the ebony which is black and it's going to create black dust if it's not sealed properly all the little dust speck is going to get into the wood pores of the of the uh, lighter colored wood and then uh, I'm going to have like real issues with dealing with the the dust uh, pattern so uh, like I said this is a one pound cut and I'm going to do uh, I already done the sides, I'm going to do the back and the front, let it dry and then I'll be able to start cutting the channel for the ebony. Something we have to do with ebony is to create a bonding surface. Uh, it's a very, very hard wood, so we need to put scratches at the back of the piece we need for the glue up. We can still use tight bond. Um, it's not an oily wood like Coco Bolo where you would need to uh, uh, clean it with uh, acetone and then use some epoxy. Like you, you can do a good glue up with ebony. Uh, it's just that uh, we need to put scratches at the back. Now here I did a dry fit and I'm just lining up the two ends here so I can cut them at the same time and that way I'm going to have a perfect uh, seam in between the two pieces. So once again it's really important to do a dry fit so I can like right right here I see I have like a maybe a 30 second gap and even when I press there's still like probably a 64 or it'd be a bit less so I can still go back before I put the glue and, and like refine everything just to make sure it's properly installed.
Hey everybody, so thanks for uh, sticking around for the whole video. Uh, I'll be keeping on the with on with the scraper. I still need to scrape the whole sort of like the whole sides of the instruments and then do the back and the front. Uh, once I'm done with that, I'm gonna have to seal with the shellac uh, the binding. I'll use a little uh, like art paintbrush to seal the, the the ebony, and then I'll be able to go back on the maple and. I do have more sanding to do on the, the maple because with the glue squeeze out, some of them got into the wood pores. And before we apply like a, a con like the, the last finish on it, I need to get that out. So uh, so that's what's in store for me. But other than that, like the, the body is completed. So in the next video, I'll be talking about uh, the neck. And I do have the neck here. The neck is a uh, quilted neck. I don't know if you can see the figure, but it's it's a nice piece of uh, wood to work with. And uh, so we'll, we'll get started on the neck, and I hope to see you guys then. So for all of you guys that already subscribed, I, I hope you enjoyed it. All the newcomers, uh, if you made it that far, I'm guessing you enjoyed what you saw. So uh, please consider pressing the subscribe button. I would like to see you guys coming again to see how this uh, build is coming together. And uh, until next, next time, I wish you well.